The framework is from the book, Masculine and Feminine Polarity Work. In the book, we use four different maps to explain both polarity and duality, which in the end can all be understood by just looking at this one, the mirror. For example, blaming, shaming, empathy and honouring all have relations to one another, as do attention-seeking, arrogance, self-assurance and humbleness. Attachment, ownership, diversity and interdependence are all expressions of the same energy on different ends of polarity that is reflected in duality, as are anxiousness, avoidance, responsibility and trust. The concept of emotional values and traits having both a polarity and duality to them is central to this course, which is what the polarity framework helps us to grasp and understand. It does not really matter which way round we define polarity or duality. It's better that they are interchangeable, also allowing us to work diagonally across the map. So for example, the polarity that commonly heals the immature feminine's victimhood is the mature masculine's wisdom and discernment. Wisdom and discernment allows the feminine to move into her mature trait of creativity and also often freedom and trust with taking responsibility and holding boundaries also being a common solution to victimhood. And we can also see how the immature traits fuel our mature ones, how the pain of victimization often fuels creativity and the moment that we stop being a victim is the moment we start to create our own reality. The framework gives us examples as a direct correlation, and these are true in many instances, and this helps our understanding. But we are all unique, and as we can see, what helps one person solve their victimhood might be taking responsibility over wisdom and discernment. Both are masculine and are feminine, have mature and immature expressions. If our feminine is mature and our masculine is immature, then he will bring her down through control, domination and suppression. And if our masculine is mature and our feminine immature, then she will try to bring him down by playing the victim, being the center of attention, gossiping, manipulating, blaming, and all of the other immature feminine traits. By developing our internal polarity and becoming whole does not mean our journey ends here. What the framework is teaching us and often encouraging us to do is to go back into our immature and our shadow traits, doing our shadow work, so our mature traits have more depth and meaning to them. It's important to remain sovereign in this process while acknowledging that we cannot do it all alone 